Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkDoc1, and welcome back to part 12 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, some stuff happened up near Xerxes. Uh, the PAC are moving in with an aquatic armor, or it's I guess it's amphibious right now. Uh, it's not actually going to have full combat strength. A marine pushing towards Xerxes, and an artillery, which we discovered, because I'm an idiot, that it could fire actually over this forest because it's just grassland. If this was a forest hill, it would not have been able to fire. Um, and they got a little marine kind of shuffling off here. So this is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a problem here because uh, we have to basically decide which targets to focus fire. That's going to be worrying because he's got three targets and only really four units to work with. Yeah. All right. So in the meantime, Agon just finished something. It's not telling me what it made um oh uh, well not too too important at any rate now uh i think it's probably it's high time to rebuild the i think we finished the spy agency that's right i think it's high time to to rebuild the trade routes from janali and tabo so we're missing three trade routes in total let's go ahead and rebuild those <laughs> so our, our spy agency is done so covert ops i really like propaganda um, I think it's the only one that's really worth it in the long term, and changing the, you know, the National Security Project when you want it to be changed is kind of obnoxious. Uh, might as well just have it there from the get-go. So let's station one guy in Magan just to get rid of whatever intrigue we got there. Meanwhile, let's check our operation here, steal science from Freeland. It's a bit of a tough one. Sometimes the RNG screws you, so sometimes you can get, like, you know, just make a network somewhere, and that's easy, establish a network. And you'll get your your uh, additional spy because you get a spy. All right, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. So every time you basically build a spy agency, you unlock a a spy quest. The first one, it'll tell you to do something. The hardest task it'll ask you to do is steal science, which we have here. And the easiest is just establish a network. Um, once you finish it, you get a new spy, and you just want to you know get as many spies as you can. So it's good. All right, so we got to steal science from Freeland in that case. Open Covert Ops, send one to Freeland, and open Covert Ops, and send one to Tiangong. Why not? Let's get sight on that. It's always good to have, you know, better vision of enemy territory. You can see attacks happening ahead of time. Meanwhile, um, Xerxes not looking too hot. So let's go ahead and try to solve this. Let's get some info first. So if I were to attack here, we would do some decent damage, but we would actually would not wipe out the unit. If you attack here on the marine, um, we would do decent damage again, but we wouldn't kill the unit. Sinister ones can in fact fire on this artillery, but it seems like it actually wouldn't do that much. Same thing with rough squad it looks like. Again, not that much damage. That artillery is going to be a pain in the ass to kill. Uh, it looks like we may need to actually go for a melee kill on it. Alternatively, we can just try to target the melee units and we might be able to kill both of them. Let's go ahead and check that. We have three shots and a melee strike um, to use. So, you know, I think that might be the best option. The most surefire way to guarantee the success of this attack. So go ahead and let's see what kind of damage they would do here. Because we're flanked, um, not that much. We'd have to do a lot more range attacks before this is a kill. So let's go ahead and... Can this third unit actually even hit the water? It can. So we really have every unit to work with. Who's the weakest? Let's just check the levels. This one's a veteran. A little injured. This one's a veteran. Full health. This one's a veteran. Full health. Alright, so Dark Guard's the weakest. In that case, let's go ahead and target the offshore. All right, uh, then we can probably, well, first of all, we're going to have to hit this guy at least once. So let's go ahead and see what that does. See how our options go after firing once. This uh, melee strike would not kill yet. It's kind of problematic. Um, let's go ahead and mm, we can probably guarantee the kill here, but then we risk not killing this guy. Alright, let's go ahead and guarantee the kill. That's what my heart's telling me. Smartest idea. And see what we can do here. 
So we didn't kill him, but he's damn near close. Right, our worker here is done. Let's send him southward to help with improving Bongani. Meanwhile, Clone Echo is done. We were going to send him north. Let's keep doing that. And our tech jets are kind of just sitting on standby for now. Iron wild cards. Was I returning him? I think I was. Suicidians can heal up. And our worker here finished the generator. We should be getting vertical farming in just one turn. It's exciting. Good to look forward to. Um, yeah, we could probably build a farm here and help Magan out. Let's see what happens up north. Hopefully this guy doesn't get a heal. That'd be really troublesome. No heal, and he died. Alright, that's a good result. Good result. They attacked our gunner with a marine. Of the skyscraper, which has existed since the 19th century, it was not the concept which needed to evolve, but rather the minds of those who used it. All right, vertical farming. I know we can tackle this next problem because we succeeded in tackling all the problems that came before it. Video interview with anonymous explorer, huh? Anyways, they attacked Rough Squad. Thankfully, Rough Squad survives. Oh, lordy lord. That is a PAC battle suit moving in. That is... You know, these used to be more scary than they are now. Because I'm thinking now... Oh, okay, they got 24 combat strength. That's, you know, that's something. But at least it's not 40 combat strength. Which is horrifying. Which means the PAC moved up. Yep, they're now Affinity 4. And they might be focusing... For just an army of... You know... Battle suits. So that's not good. Uh, that means we need to basically rush to Affinity 6 as soon as we can. Alright, so we have the artillery upgrade here. It's the choice between land units and attacking cities. I'm just gonna go with the attacking cities. It's always good. And we finally get the Xeno Nursery quest decision. Um, this is between 5 Xeno Mass and 450 Science, which is very good. So let's go ahead and basically decide where we want to spend that. So, on the tech web here, we've got a few priorities that we really gotta focus. So we are Purity, and as such, Purity has some really... Eh, they've got some pretty big issues with science. So going for academies isn't a bad idea. Um, on the other hand, you know, health will be an issue in the longer run. And something like the Soma Distillery is nice. And you also unlock yourself the Terra Vault from when you do hit Purity 7. Which is great. Bionics is nice. Because it'll give access to bio wells earlier. Um, if we need the health anywhere. And it'll also give the Institute which we can build. And then get, give us a free nanotechnology while we're doing something else. Um, additionally, terraforming is nice, because we will get, um, you know, the access to build, um, what do you call it, floatstone quarries, which we'll need, um, as we go on, and then biospheres, which is really good for growth. Finally, you can also go fabrication for the alloy foundry and the magrails. Doing that, we can also focus down into civil support, which would give us the excellent hollow matrix, and give us a good hefty chunk of affinity XP. As it stands, we are, it looks like, 11 XP away from Purity 5, which would put us mm, 28, 30 XP away from Affinity 6. So, something that gives us a bigger, heftier chunk of Affinity XP is probably preferable. If possible. It might not be possible. It doesn't look like it, actually. Did we ever get another Affinity quest? No, nope, never. Well, in that case, uh, we do have this 450 science, so that will help. We just have to decide where do we want to put that. Um, cognition might not be a bad idea. Uh, it's a good investment, and... You know... Jeez. Oh, Alright, so here's the thing. If we go cognition, we'll pretty much almost instantly have it. Not quite, but you know, we'll be already be like four turns out. And then we'll be able to build academies thereafter, which is kind of important. Because we need to get our science up. Uh, that's an issue for purity. So let's go ahead and definitely do that. It's gotta happen. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab the science. Meanwhile, Inglorious Eagles is now an expert. Welcome to the club. And the Rough Squad is not looking too hot. Okay, so that's a battle suit. That, that is bad. Um, 
That is very bad. Let's see what would happen if we hit it with tack jets. Bad things. Um, yeah, that's, that's scurry. Let's just approach cautiously. Meanwhile, let's pull Rough Squad back, or maybe we can kill... I don't think that Battlesuit can kill us this turn. Um, so I think we can secure this kill, or you know what, maybe it's just smarter to do something like that. Oh, I actually thought the... Yep, I guess it doesn't count as a city until it's fully done, so you don't just get free movement through it. Alright, well, we learned. In that case, we can probably go ahead and kill their marine here. Um, with what? Nothing. Uh, well, that was a bit of a mistake then. We'll just heal this guy and see what happens. This is a desert hill. We could improve this, or we could go ahead and try to build another farm. I'm thinking a farm is a good idea. Oh, you know what? We did acquire the Xenomass well. That's, that's better than all the alternative options, so let's go ahead and do that. Meanwhile... Iron Wild Cards here is looking fine. Put him up on this hill and fortify. Sinister Thorns. Um, what to do with you? Just gonna move you up on this hill and try to secure this forward to three Marines and a Gunner. Should be good. All right, uh, our worker here is ready to go. Let's go ahead and move him down. Build another farm for Magan, and let's make sure everything's locked down where we want it to. I just kind of want to maximize growth in Magan, um, so that's definitely a better option, because as soon as we hit 12, we will get another health. Uh, we do get one for every six population, so that is an important target to remember. Make sure we lock in. It tends to lock us out of these really great food tiles. Yeah, alright, just double checking. All good. And how's Ayan doing? Not bad at all. As soon as I get this last farm up, they're gonna be they're gonna have no trouble growing. Three turns. Let's see what they do up here. That battle suit is looking awfully scary though. They want a peace treaty. Um ten turns worth. This might not be a bad option at this point. Um the problem is is they can it could possibly move a city in place, but if we do agree to this, it guarantees um, Xerxes' existence. Now, they could just move a colonist in and do some weird placement. That's true. Um, but could they do it all in 10 turns? I'm not even seeing a colonist. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It's just 10 turns, and hopefully we'll be in a better place in 10 turns. Hopefully. Well, that's definitely going to speed things up. So, the war comes to a temporary end. How are my brethren down here doing? They're still at war? No, they're not. <laughs> they're not at war, I don't think. I don't think so. Oh, well. Well, Reggie's openly hostile to us for some reason. Not really sure why. We don't really share any borders with the guy. Oh, uh, well. You know, some people are just going to be uh, just gonna be douches, no matter what you do. In this world. Alright, Magan has finished one trade convoy. Let's go ahead and build another. Transport this guy to Janali. Actually, yes, Janali. I'd like to get Janali to 12 pop as soon as I can. Um, because that will definitely give us even more health. Our guys can all pretty much relax now. The war is over for them. I definitely want to block any possible weird colonist push, so let's go ahead and just, like, put people here. Grab the Xenomass well, and have our guys nice and fortified. Let's go ahead and build a sweet-ass farm there. You know, it might be time... Nope. It might be time to build a road up to Xerxes. Uh, what happened here? Intrigue is decreased to zero. National Security Project online. Okay. And Kavitha declared war on Suzanne Fielding. Alrighty. Nothing too concerning. Alright, let's go ahead and get the last trade convoy out. 
send this one to Janali again. And where do you want to send this guy? If we send it to Bongani, Janali gets hella stuff. Um, but if we send it to Xerxes, Xerxes will finish a little faster. I'm thinking hella stuff. Meanwhile, the cloning plant in Janali is done. Um, definitely time to build workers. Um, I'd like to have a few workers moving up towards Xerxes, especially because it's about to finish. And we need to build the road. Let's definitely get Clone Echo up there in case shit breaks out in 10 turns. And our first road in this desert is completed. Have we purchased the Recycler here? It's not a bad option. I'm not playing industry though, so I'm not super rich. So I'm not going to do it. Um, then again, it could get the city off the ground really quick. Another thing that could here is the Vivarium. Hmm. You know what? Um, that's not even that bad of an option. Let's go ahead and buy the Recycler here. That's really going to speed everything up a lot. Every building's just going to come that much faster. This Franco-Iberian city here is looking good. Now if we could do... Oh, Kenza's up too. Well, it will be. As long as we can surround the PAC. It's good. Nah, G. Uh-uh. Not today. And our spy arrives in Tiangong to reveal that they've built many a Terrascapes and have PAC battlesuits standing by. Okay, so we got another virtue. What to do? Well, we are two virtues away from this 10% science in every city, so that's definitely what we're going to go for. Um, and I think research, metal research methods down to techno artisans is not a bad idea, but learning centers could be amazing. Leaf technologies cost 10% less is really good. But techno artisans. How much science would you reasonably get out of that? 15% of our culture output, right? So culture output 43. Eh. You know, what is that? Six? Six science? It's not bad. Um, what do we want to grab first, though? Leaf techs or the academies? Well, our academies aren't even done yet, so that's probably... We can probably push that off for a little while longer. Yeah. Alright, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and grab meta research methods. And we'll be just one away from that 10% science in all cities. Our auto plant has been finished in Tabo, meaning it is now open and available to produce valuable goods of all kinds. Okay, so our health here is five locally, so it's probably good to build the gene garden. But the lab is just so simple and easy to build. Let's go ahead and grab that one first. Rough squad, all good. Trade convoy in Janali, where to send this one? Again, I like the max growth here, and that's pretty good for a yawn, too. Let's bring this guy a little back, and bring Clone Echo up on the front line. Alright, so we finished this farm here. Let's go ahead and lock it in. I like the rapid growth, and let's improve this resolution. This is looking like a good tile. It's got a lot of everything. Meanwhile, we got two covert ops. Let's go ahead and establish our network in both locations. And next turn. Our empire is doing swimmingly. Um, we should have the ability... Nah. Why does she think, like, we're friends? Like, we're not friends. No, that's not a thing. I think I know what you're thinking. And you think you know what I know about your thinking. Alright, so we have the ability to build academies now. It's probably wise to do so. Um, so... We also got the Petroleum Quest decision. This is really fun. Um, it's between two culture and two production. I can't help but pass. I can't pass up the production. Two culture is great, but two production out of every Petroleum well. Yes, please. Look at that. Three production there, and down here, four production tiles. Yes. Ayan is going to have so much fun with this. That's great. That's just good. Alright. Final trade convoy done in Magan. Looking awesome. We could probably build another one because Bongani is going to be done just that much sooner. Yep. And see if we can't send this guy out to Tabo. Get our guys fortified. And this worker. What to do with you, Mr. Worker? 
get you over on this farm here. Actually, you know what? Um, we're about to have... No, we do have uh, the ability to build academies. So I'm thinking definitely do that. Let's pump out a few more workers where we can and get academies rolling as our next kind of priority. Uh, meanwhile, I think it's probably smart to either go down Bionics, which will give free access to nanotech eventually, or to go fabrication and civil support. Um, I'm kind of favoring Bionics, just because it gives, you know, time to build the nano pasture, and we'll get the nano pasture just that much sooner, which is super important to having really, really big purity cities. So let's go ahead and do that. Bionics it is. In fact, we're, we're spread pretty far, considering I do plan on playing purity. This is one, two, three, four, five, six cities. We could add a seventh down here, uh, and just like, you know, fund it with bio wells. But I think six is a good place to sit for now. We, st we do have some s serious health issues, so it's best to just sit around this number and see what happens. Petroleum well done, adding that much more unhealth to our little empire. But it's also a very good production source for Magan if it needs it. Doesn't have a tile yield over it, so maybe it's treating like like a Bongani city. A tile? It is. Um, I'd rather treat it like a Magan tile. That said, I don't think it matters right now. Uh, we'll probably rearrange that as it comes to be relevant. So, you can get the petrochemical plant here. Alright. Even though it's technically... Yeah, it's because we bought the tile in Magan, even though technically Bongani's working it right now. It's fine by me. Let's get our worker. Um, you know, we kind of need to do the academies now, so let's send him over to these planes and replace them with academies. Right, this guy, all done. Uh, let's send this guy to go to sleep until next turn. Well, we'll send it to Bongani. Tabo has his trade route done. And we could send it to Bongani for huge yields. Again, I think that just looks amazing, and it's hard to pass that up. Over here, let's go ahead and build our first academy. We finished the Xenomass well. Again, another invitation to go ahead and build an academy. Magan will be Academy City. Gene Garden done in Ayan. Alrighty, looking sweet. Eight health here. Really dealing with our own health problems really quickly. And just like that, Ayan actually has no more buildings to build. So, let's go ahead and grab workers. We'll be able to build more academies and hills and all this stuff. One worker is not quite enough. Although he has been doing work these past many years. Alrighty. Build us an academy, sir. You go there and build us an academy. I'm gonna do one more worker. We're basically spamming our workers now just because we'll need them when we do get the Magrail tech. Uh, which will be the next tech we go for. So, it's not a bad idea to do them now. Um, with that in mind, probably smart to get the Thorium Reactor, just because something's got to be able to pay for all of it. So, Trade Depot done in Mongani. Let's go ahead and grab the Vivarium. That's going to be super important to growing there. Change our origin city to Mongani. Alrighty. Go ahead and build me an academy right there. Sweet. Nope, no open borders, ma'am. No, no, sir. Last worker here. Um, we could probably send him to build an academy as well. Now that that farm is done, let's lock it in. We lock a lot of these food tiles in. That we haven't done so far. There we go. Now we are into max food growth in Magan now. Um, is there anything I haven't locked in? Doesn't look like it. We're really focusing. Definitely lock that in. We lock this guy in too. Food growth is just so important. Alright, we finished a worker here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one more. Uh, Jan will have many academies as well. Let's get this one out there. And one more worker done here. I think we can afford just one more worker. Should be good. Alright. Um, but looks like the time is up on this guy, this episode, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Till then, take care.